Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today we've got some more everyday inspiration in the form of this box. This contained a gift, some essential oil type things and was a present from my sister. I loved what was inside but I also loved the design of the box and it gave me an idea for a card design. I really really loved the deep midnight blue colour. I loved this embossed look of leaves coming in from the side that are slightly lighter. I love this big gold circle here in the middle and the gold sprinkles and the white, well I suppose on a card it would be a sentiment but it's it's what's in the box. So this is the inspiration for today's card. First thing I'm going to do is create some kind of midnight bluey paper. And I'm going to smear chipped sapphire distress oxide all over this piece of smooth white cardstock and blend it out, repeating until I get a really good coverage. I don't have any coloured cardstock this colour, so this is my only option. And I love blending ink, so I am more than happy to do this. So there, I think that's pretty even coverage. And that's going to give me enough blue card to make all the bits that I want to make. Before I carry on, I'm going to give this a really good blast with my hairdryer just to encourage the ink to dry as much as possible. And that's going to reduce smudging on other bits of cardstock and transfer onto other things. The card I'm going to make today is going to be a tent fold card, smooth white cardstock, and it's about five and a half by five and a half inches. I've got this square panel that's going to go here, and I cut this with a square die, the size up from this one, because what I'm going to do now is cut this square from my blue card. And eventually that is going to sit like that. I could have made the whole card blue, but I think it's kind of more impactful if the blue is, is contained within this big white frame. So that's the background done really. Now I'm going to create these embossed leaves. And I've got these two dies, they are mirror images of each other. I'm going to cut them out and then I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine again but with the embossing configuration so the pattern that you can see here these little slits will be embossed into the leaves. So here are my two blue leaf branch things with their little bits of embossing on and to bring out the texture and to make them a little lighter than the background, I'm going to take Lost Shadow, let's do one at a time, and just press the ink pad down onto it like that a few times. And that will uh, highlight the raised parts of the die cut. There's lots of ways you could add uh, a lighter colour ink on top, but I think this really does just catch the raised parts. Because there's an awful lot of ink on this card now it might take a little while for that lost shadow distress oxide to dry so I'm going to take them one at a time and again give them a good blast with my hair dryer. So these are ready to go on my blue panel now but I'm umming and ahhing about whether to have them coming out over the edge or whether to have them chopped off where the blue panel ends as if it was you know the edge of the box. I think I might leave them like that, keep them intact, not chop them off. Let me just get a bit of white card like that. I think you lose something when I slice off the edge so I think I will have them coming out the edge of the blue card. Now this has got this beautiful, I suppose it's meant to look like a wax seal design on here in gold and it's just so pretty so what I've done is I haven't got a die like that I've cut a gold frame out of gold mirror card 
and I've got this twiggy branchy thing which can sit on top of the gold frame like that so you can see how I'm using that inspiration there but I think I do want to add a sentiment underneath and I rather like that it is in white on the blue and it would bring the white from the card here onto the front so I think I'm going to stamp a sentiment around about there and to make this card really multifunctional or any function you like I think I'll use this just wanted to say dot 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 sentiment and heat emboss it in white embossing powder so I've lined that up I think it's straight it's where I want it to be I'm going to pick up my stamp move these bits out the way and I'm giving this a really 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 good dusting with corn flour this will blow away or rub off once I've done the heat embossing but I don't want any of that blue ink to still be slightly wet and capture the embossing powder. So I'm going to stamp that with embossing ink and I've got this detail white embossing powder I'm going to shake that on there give it a good tap off there's a few little stray bits which I can brush away so they don't stick I'm going to heat that with my heat tool so that's melted and cooled so I can just brush off the corn flour with a microfiber cloth and that's all lovely and blue again now for assembling to attach this white panel I'm going to use tape runner and I want to get that central so there's that and this I'm thinking a bit of craft foam or foam tape behind that so I've gone all the way around the outside with that and put the cut off ends in the middle for extra support that is going to go in the middle like that now for my two leafy bits I want to put a bit of foam tape on these two leaves here maybe those three leaves there just to support them and to glue the rest down I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each leaf And now for the gold, a little bit of glue all the way around the frame, that can go in the middle. And some glue on the back of the gold branch. I'm very happy with things as they are but I do love these gold spots so I want to bring some gold spots in I'll use my wonky circle die and some more gold card and die cut some little circles to stick these circles down I'll dip them in a bit of tacky glue and dot them around I think I'm going to go in a diagonal like that like this is here but across the whole of the front of the card right I think we're done I hope you can see how I got from this packaging to this card how I took certain elements and made my own version on here and maybe changed things up a bit I'd be really interested to know where you get your inspiration from, what kind of things inspire you from the everyday, if you've made any cards that have been inspired by everyday things like packaging or, I don't know, movie posters or book covers, I don't know, anything. If you've made any cards that have been based on or inspired by something that already exists and that is not, I guess, card 
related then do come along to my facebook group and share those cards there I, as i say i'd just be really interested to know where you get your inspiration from and how you translate things from the inspiration source to the final card right i think that'll do thanks for watching bye for now